Okay, so it might seem a little crazy that I got a hip holster for my AR pistol. I mean, it's a pistol, and it's an open carry state I live in, so technically I could open carry this on my hip. But um, that holster I have, uh, I got it so long ago, I don't even remember where I got it from. Uh, it's not branded or anything on it, so uh, I don't even know uh, what company makes them. Uh, I had to probably do some digging through like my emails or something like that and see if I can find a receipt from when I ordered it. Um, but you know, while the brace rule still in limbo, I've been shooting my uh, my 300 blackout uh, ARP a little more. Um, they were empty. Yeah. They were empty. But yeah, I've been shooting my um, my ARP a little more and um, just having fun with it. But yeah, I brought out the uh, hip post because I was just having a conversation with one of my buddies the other day about uh, like a situation I feel like I would I would need to to uh, have have this on my hip. Um, but uh, you know, it's just a almost like a gimmicky thing I bought. But I mean, it's got practical uh, uses. Um, you know, if you just out at the range with it, you know, or you, let's say you, you know, on a hike or something like that, uh, dangerous area where maybe there's like uh mountain lions or something like that you might want to carry your ap uh on your hip because you can actually hip fire from like what i was showing like if you're that good uh what's that guy uh pew view uh he <laughs> he's crazy with uh with his accuracy so uh if you like him you can shoot from the hip you can actually swivel it while it's still in the uh the hip holster uh fire from the hip and then just release it and you know your hands are free to do what you need to do Another option with it is um, you can mount it to a vest, uh, put a sling with it, and so you're just distributing the weight uh, a little more. And you know what? I'll show you that real quick too. Hold on. So, uh, you could mount a sling to it. It's on the vest. Hang it freely. If I need to get to it, I can. I can actually, again, semi like hip firing almost. Uh, and come off the vest. There's the holster there. And then locks right back in. Easy, easy. So, yeah. With it being on the vest, it is a little, you can't snug it up like you could uh, on the belt. So it kind of wobbles a little bit when trying to unholster it uh, from the vest. But, um, but yeah, it works. It works. You can just drop it in. And the way it works too is you say you see the holster. Alright, you see the holster. On the buffer tube, you replace that and it locks right in comes right out so so yeah it does have multiple uses uh, I like it uh, it's cool uh, never use it at work uh, you know <laughs> it would be uh, against policy for me to use that uh, in my job so but uh, you know if you're private security uh, uh, your mercenary whatever you might like something like that uh, might have use for it but um, so I just use it like at the range and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it with that. Um, I like I said, I just been shooting it more, shooting at uh, ARP just because we're in limbo with the brace rule and uh, just having fun with it. And I just thought I'd share that with you today. So just leave you with some footage uh, from the range. And again, I just thank everybody from for uh, liking, sharing, supporting. Uh, keep watching. I'm, I always got something new coming. I think um, I got a pistol build I'm going to do. And um, I got a different type of uh, AR build I'm going to do. So uh, be on the lookout for those coming, coming soon. Uh, but yeah, just leave you with this footage. Thanks again.